Hi friends. So in this session, we are going to derive the expression for the given system. So here you can see one system is given. In that system, there is one pendulum which is attached to one spring. Means this spring will provide the control motion to this pendulum. Now to derive this expression, I will draw this one. they have given the ends which are fixed where there is one pendulum so i'll give some displacement to this pendulum so when i'm going to provide the displacement to this pendulum ultimately the spring attached to it will be elongated so in this elongated position we'll have to make the derivation now to make this derivation what i'm going to do just see the angle turned by this pendulum consider this angle is theta and from this position here you can see from this position the spring is elongated consider the elongation distance till this point is delta Okay, means the spring elongation is delta, and the angle turned by the pendulum will be theta. The remaining rotations I am going to keep same. That is, the stiffness is k. The length from this pivot point to the spring point is a. Means this vertical distance is a, and the length of pendulum is l the pendulum is having one bob that is mass attached to it at the end now here you can represent this linear displacement of spring as x also so in this problem the spring will be linearly displaced and this mass means pendulum will be angularly displaced so for this condition will have to derive this equation now to displace this mass will have to apply the torque in this direction means the displacement of this pendulum will be in direct in this direction okay so this will be the displacement okay so i'll write here this is the displacement of this pendulum now the inertia force this inertia force or inertia torque will act in the opposite direction to displacement so normally in linear system we consider the inertia force here i'll consider the inertia torque torque which is opposite to the displacement so the inertia torque will be in linear system we call f is equal to ma in angular system we call f instead of f it is torque and torque is equal to i alpha which is similar to f is equal to ma in linear system we have f which is equal to ma uh, replace all the terms in angular so instead of force there will be torque instead of mass there will be mass moment of inertia instead of acceleration there will be angular acceleration so it is torque is equal to i alpha this same term we represent by i into alpha is nothing but the second differentiation of theta with respect to time so i theta double dot okay so this is the inertia torque applied on this mass mass now by using the geometry will determine this displacement delta so by geometry i am going to consider this small triangle consider this small triangle so when i am going to consider this small triangle then in this small triangle this is the displacement theta angular displacement theta and this is the linear displacement delta okay and this distance is vertical distance a so i'll this mark this distance as a now from the figure if this theta is small because 
normally in the vibration the angle or displacement of vibration is very very small so if this theta is small then if i take sin theta then that will be equal to theta so if the angle is small then sin theta will be is equal to theta and that will be equal to here we will have to take the sin theta so sin theta will be delta divided by e delta divided by e okay opposite divided by hypotenuse so the value of delta will be delta is equal to a into theta okay so we have the value of delta and that will be equal to a into theta now i am going to show the forces acting on this system now to show the forces acting on this system i'll use the different pair see here because of the elongation of spring one force will act in the opposite direction to in the opposite direction to displacement and this force is spring force k into displacement and displacement of spring is delta so this force is k into delta then another one force will act which is downward and that force is nothing but the weight of this mass and the weight is mg the weight is mg means on this system there is one spring force which will control the motion means during the deformation this force will act in opposite direction to deformation and weight will be acting in downward direction now to solve this derivation i have marked all the forces the spring force k delta the weight mg and the inertia torque that is t now for equilibrium condition for equilibrium condition i am going to derive this equation so consider equilibrium condition so for equilibrium condition what i can write i can write the moment about this pivot point consider this point as o moment about this point will be equal to zero so summation of moment about o will be equal to zero and that will be equal to now we will have to write the moment see so first take inertia torque so inertia torque t now we will have to consider the direction of torque positive that is the clockwise direction positive so take the moment of mg so we will have to represent this force on this line so this force will be in downward direction so force into perpendicular distance this perpendicular distance is nothing but x so we will have to consider this distance as x okay so displacement of this uh, mass and displacement of this mass is i'll write here mg into x okay so i have considered from this point to mg this distance is x and from this point to the attachment of spring it is delta now the direction of mg mg will be in clockwise direction so this will be positive now we have finished with mg we have finished with inertia torque now write for the spring force this spring force is k into delta okay so force is k into delta into distance this vertical distance is nothing but a so k into delta into a and it will be again in clockwise direction so it is positive so all the moments that we have taken are in clockwise direction so all are positive so initially we have determined the value of delta similarly determine the value of x so to determine the x again i am going to consider one triangle but this triangle will be 
greater as compared to the initial triangle initially we have considered till this this point now we are going to consider till this m up to mass so this triangle will be having angle same that is theta now the length will be l length will be l and this distance is x as we have considered this angle is small so for small angle take sin theta and this sin theta will be equal to theta equal to so sin is opposite divided by hypotenuse so it will be x divided by l so the x will be x will be theta into l okay so we have value of x and we have value of delta now put both the values in the given equation so i am going to put the value in this equation just wait so i am going to put the value of torque is nothing but i theta double dot plus mg into value of x is theta into l plus k into value of delta is a into theta into a okay so this equation will become i theta double dot plus mg into theta l plus k into a into theta into a now the moment of inertia now the moment of inertia for this case will be mass and length so we can write m k square that is m l square so mass moment of inertia is m k square so here radius is l of the pendulum so we can write ml square into theta double dot plus mg into l theta plus k into a square theta is equal to 0 now whatever the terms which are common that i am going to take common so equal to the first equation will remain as it is plus in these two equations we have common theta so i'll take theta common so in this equation mgl plus k a square will remain in bracket okay so ml square theta double dot plus theta in bracket mgl plus k a square now to convert this equation into standard shm form or standard differential equation form i am going to divide the total equation by this ml square so ml square by ml square so it will remain 1 plus now divide this equation by this value ml square so mg l plus k a square so this value divided by ml square so i have divided throughout the equation by using the ml square so this equation is nothing but this equation is nothing but differential equation of vibration now this differential equation of vibration will have to compare with the differential equation of shm so i'll write here differential equation of shm now what is this differential equation of shm that we have seen in earlier videos that x double dot plus omega square x equal to 0 i have written this equation in linear form convert into angular form so instead of x write theta double dot omega square theta is equal to 0 so this is the differential equation of shm now compare our equation with differential equation of shm so here we have theta double dot theta double dot here we have theta we have theta means omega square will be equal to this bracket so here i'll write compare 
compare with differential equation of SHF. So when we compare, we know that omega square will be equal to oh sorry omega square will be equal to that bracket okay. so it will be equal to this bracket and this bracket is mgl plus k a square divided by msb so take the root on both side so omega n is equal to root mgl plus k a square divided by ml square so this is the natural frequency it is the circular frequency and if you want in the form of fn then fn that is natural frequency is equal to 1 divided by 2 pi root k by m root k by m is nothing but omega m so here i will put the value of omega m so this equation will become m g l plus k a square divided by m l square ok so 1 divided by 2 pi root m g l plus k a square divided by ml square so this is the value of natural frequency for the given system ok so i'll quickly revise the derivation in this derivation we have to consider see the displacement of spring displacement of this mass so we have applied the torque so in the opposite direction there will be inertia torque that is i alpha in the opposite direction of displacement the force of mass will be acting downward that is weight will be acting downward and the spring force will be in the opposite direction so i have given the notations then i have taken the moment about o the first moment is the inertia torque second will be of mg and third will be of k delta and i have put all these values of delta and x in this equation simplify this equation till we we'll get the standard form of differential equation and compare the standard form of differential equation with differential equation of SHM we we'll get the value of omega square from that we will get omega n and f okay. thank you